Hi, my name is uh, Felipe Morio. I'm an assistant professor at the Range Cattle Research and Education Center at ONA. For the first part of this training, we focused on the importance of body condition score and how that affects the, uh, the fertility and the profitability of your cow calf operation. For the second part, we're going to actually focus on the body condition score system and what it is and how to do it. So you just had the opportunity to take the pretest and you got your first uh, scores. Now we're going to give you some tips on how to evaluate body condition score. And then at the end of this presentation, you will be able to retake that test and compare your final scores with your initial scores. Let's see if we can improve that. And if, but if you want more details, more information about this topic in upcoming trainings, please visit one of the three websites described in this website. So what is body condition score? Body condition score is an indicator of amount of fat stored in that animal. Every time an animal consumes energy above their requirements, the excess energy will be accumulated as fat. So body condition score is a measurement of how much fat the animal has, in other words, how much energy is available for the animal. In beef cattle, we usually use, uh, use a scale of 1 to 9, whereas in dairy cattle, we're going to use a scale of 1 to 5. The concept is exactly the same. As you're increasing the amount of body condition score, you are increasing the amount of fat in that animal. And uh, why would you just use this and not just measure the body weights of those animals? Because body condition score does not consider the weight and size of the animals. We might have two cows with the same body condition score, a five for example, but they have totally different body weights because of their mature size, because of their breed, or even because of their age. So body condition score is truly showing you the nutritional status of those animals and can be easily applied throughout the entire year and you will know the nutritional status of your operation. And, uh, and plus, it's a very uh, simple tool, it's fast, it's cheap, you don't have to work animals in the chute, you can do it anywhere uh, in a pasture. So very easy tool to use. It. Now, if you're not familiar with that, where do we look to do body condition score? We have six locations. One is the backbone, uh, second is the tail head, the third are the pins, the fourth are, are the hooks, the fifth are the ribs, and the sixth is the brisket. Not necessarily in this order, but those are the six locations that we focus if uh, we are trying to give the accurate body condition score to this animal. Now, probably a lot of you have are familiar with body condition scores some, at some level. And you know that body condition score is a subjective measurement. That means that the same cow can be scored slightly different between uh, two people. So you might have a slightly different body condition score than your neighbor for the same cow, which is totally fine if the difference between those two scores is less than half of a point. If the difference is above that, for example, in this figure, I'm showing you that for the same cow, 20% of the people who score that count as a body condition score four and a half. And 25% of that, those people, they score the same count as a body condition score of six. This is a difference of one and a half points. And that cannot happen. And the reason for that is if we overestimate or if we underestimate the body condition score of this count, we're going to make the wrong decisions about the nutritional management. For example, if we overestimate the body condition score, then we're going to believe that this cow has more energy available than what she truly has. And in that case, the, can, the animal does not have sufficient energy to mobilize and to have successful reproductive performance. Now, let's say that we underestimate the body condition score. Now, we think that this cow is in a worse shape than what she is. And for in that case, we might believe that she needs supplementation. So you're going to invest money on that but you're not going to have any return because the cow actually did not need that extra amount of energy. She had enough of it. So the whole goal of our training is to increase the percentage of people scoring the more accurate body condition score and also to decrease the variation of those scores to no more than half of a point. So this table here shows you uh, the characteristics for every single score, I mean the amount of fat, the amount of bones, the amount of muscle that you will be able to see for every single body condition score. But for this presentation, we're only going to focus on cows that are on a body condition score between 2 
207. That's the most common body condition you will see in a commercial called calf operation. But if you want more details about this article, please click on the link at the bottom of this slide and you will have the access to the entire article. So let's begin. Body condition score 2. This is a count that you will not see fat being deposited in an animal. You will see the entire rib cage. You will be able to see the backbone. And you can actually identify every the individual process of the spine. And you will not see muscle or fat being deposited in the hind quarters. If a count calves on a body condition score of 2, the expected pregnancy rates won't be more than 30%. Now, body condition score 3, you would still be able to see the entire rib cage, but it's going to be hard. You can slightly visualize all the ribs. You will be able to see the backbone, but now you can no longer um, identify the individual processes of the spine. And you will also see more fat being deposited and muscle being deposited in the hind quarters. If a count caves at this body condition score, pregnancy rates won't be uh, more than 50%. Now, count that is a body condition score of 4. This count, you will not see the 4 ribs, but you will be able to see the last 2 to 3 ribs. And in this case, if she calves on a body condition score of 4, the expected pregnancy rates will be, will be between 50 to 75%. Now, count that is a body condition score of 5. This is our standard. This, is, this should be the minimum body condition score at the time of calving. So... Make sure that you keep this, the image of this count in your mind and that will help to determine the other body condition scores if a count is above or below that. So a count that is a body condition score of 5, you don't see the ribs, you don't see the backbone, and the tail head has some fat in it, but it's not full yet. So if the count caves on a body condition score of 5, the expected pregnancy rates will be somewhere between 75 to 90%. Now, if a count calves on a body condition score of 6, you won't be able to see the ribs. The count has a more a smoother uh, appearance. And uh, the tail head is full, but not excessive yet. If it's completely full, but you don't have an excessive amount of fat yet. And if the count calves on a body condition score of 6, the expected pregnancy rates will be somewhere around 90% or even higher than that. Now, body condition score 7. In this case, the cow has an excessive amount of fat in the tail head and she will start to look like a block. In this case, a cow, the expected pregnancy rates will be around 90% or even higher. But you could start having calving problems uh, if that cow is slightly fatter than what I'm showing in the picture just because of the excessive amount of fat being deposited in the guts. Now, so as a summary, those are the six most common body condition scores you will see on a commercial called calf operation. One strategy that we recommend to people is that, again, use a count body condition score 5 as a reference and keep the image of that count in your mind. And then try to memorize at least two characteristics for each body condition score. And then you use that to move up or down the scale. For example, we know that a count that is a body condition score of 5 you don't see the ribs, but the uh, tail head has some fat in it, but it's not full yet. So if we move down the scale, count that as a body condition score of 4, you don't see the 4 ribs, but you will be able to see the last 2 to 3 ribs. Count body condition score 3, you will see the entire rib cage, but it's going to be hard. And you will also be able to see the backbone, but you cannot identify the individual processes of the spine. But if she's on a body condition score of 2, you will be able to see the entire rib cage. You will be able to see every individual processes of the backbone. Now, let's move up in the, in the scale. If she's on a body condition score 6, you don't see the ribs. You don't see the backbone. The tail head is full, but it's not excessive yet. Now, body condition score 7, you will see an excessive amount of fat in the tail head. And the cam will look like a block. So those are the main characteristics. It helps you to create this image in your mind and you can use it as a reference. Another thing, a comment that we need to do is that try to avoid scoring cows after shrink. So if for some reason your cows were devoid of feed or water for a few hours, 
try not to score those counts because the ribs will be more visible and you're going to underestimate the body condition score. Let that count eat something, graze or have uh, water again before you do the body condition score. And if you don't have experience and you're not familiar with using a scale of 1 to 9, the first step that you could do is to identify cattle into one of three categories, a thin, an optimal, or too fat. So any count that is an unbody condition score between 1 to 4, you would consider that count as a thin. Any count falling between body condition score 5 to 7, you would consider that count as an optimum body condition score. And if it's 8 or 9, you would consider that count too fat. Once you're more familiar with the scores, you can start breaking those scores into smaller units and use the body condition score of 1 to 9 scale. We're also going to provide you an additional tool, the, the following flow chart, that uh, usually help people with that doesn't have a lot, of, a lot of experience on body condition score. So the way that it works, you just keep answering the questions to, of this flow chart from the bottom, from the top to the bottom, and then depending on your answer, you flow, you follow the direction of each arrow. For example, for this count here. Uh, let's answer the first question. Can you see the last two or three ribs? And then, no, you don't see any of the ribs. So you know that that count is in a body condition score 5 or above. So now we move to our second question. Is the tail head fairly filled with fat but not full or mounded? And then the answer is no. You actually see a lot of fat in the tail head. And there's an excessive amount of fat in the tail head. So let's move to the third question. Uh, so is there an excessive amount of fat in the tail head and brisket? So even though you're not able to see the brisket in this picture, you will agree that there's an excessive amount of fat in the tail head. So you know that this count is in a body condition score 7, 8, or a 9. So let's move to the last question. Uh, does that count has a block appearance and the bone structures are difficult to identify? Yes. This count, you cannot see the ribs, you don't see the backbone, you don't see the pins, and you can slightly see the hooks. So this count has definitely a block appearance, and you will call her probably an 8. You could call that count a 9 if she has a little bit more fat than what I'm showing, and if that count is having problems with mobility, standing up, walking, or lying down. You will notice that this uh, flow chart uses a one-point increment on, on body condition scoring. And sometimes we're going to have some examples where the count does not fall exactly into each uh, into one point increments. For example, we might have a count that is not on a body condition score four or a five. She's actually somewhere in between, or four and a half, for example. So let's do this second example here. So can you see the last two to three ribs? Yes, you can. So you know that she's on a body condition score four or less. Now let's move to the second question. Do you see all the ribs and backbone? You are able to see the backbones, but you do not see all the ribs. So according to this flow chart, you would call this count body condition score of 4. But if you remember the characteristics that I told you at the presentation, a count that is a body condition score of 4, you don't see more than 2 to 3 ribs. In a count that is a body condition score of 3, you will be able to see uh, all, all in the entire rib cage with some difficulty, but you will still be able to see all the ribs. This count here, you don't see all the four, all the, the entire rib cage, but you are seeing more than just three ribs. You can see the fourth rib and the fifth slightly. So this count is falling somewhere between a three and a four. So the more accurate body condition score for this count will be around three and a half. So. But this is something that you can uh, worry about once you have more experience, you have a lot of practice, then you will be able to score your counts on a smaller unit increment. For example, every half of a point instead of um, uh, using a one point increment. Okay, but that comes with practice. So for the rest of this presentation, we're going to provide you some pictures of counts so you can practice the body condition scoring. And then after that, you will have the opportunity to retake your test. So let's see if you can improve your scores that you got at the, uh, the beginning of this presentation. So if you have any questions about this presentation or this topic or any upcoming trainings, 
please don't hesitate to contact us uh, on the phone or email described in this website. So thank you very much.